Hi everybody, this is Amy from We're So Creative and I wanted to t show you a pattern that says that it is for hand embroidery, but I want to show you how you can turn it into machine embroidery on your IQ Designer. IQ Designer is on the Destiny, on the Meridian, and on the Solaris. So as you might be able to tell on this pattern, they look like red work designs and hand embroidery is beautiful, but sometimes it's just not fast enough. So let me show you an example. I think we're gonna take this design right here and for our purposes, we're gonna show you what it looks like to take a strawberry show you how this works. So here we've got, I'm sitting in front of the Solaris today, and here is the pattern that would be used to trace and do hand embroidery, but we are going to put it on our scanner. All right, one person camera work. Woohoo! All right, hang on a second. Got caught in my chair. Here we go. Let me show you how I am going to put that on my scanning. I'm going to call it a hoop, but it's really a board. All right. And I'm going to use these green things, our magnets, and that just kind of helps me to get it flat. Okay. So, as you can see, I have attached, which of course this comes with it. Solaris, anything that is the IQ designer. It's the scan pad. All right, so now that I have that loaded, let me show you how it works on here. So I'm going to be using my special pen, as I like to call it. All right, so here is how this process works. So the first thing I'm gonna do, I'm starting at the top here. Right, you can kind of see the different things that it can do. You can design in IQ Designer without doing any scanning, but I'm interested in doing the scanning. All right, so I'm gonna hit next. Hold on. There, sorry. Press that. What well, looks like a leaf. I want a line design for this particular pattern. I'm going to scan it. You can also pull it up from other files. All right, so the frame will move to be scanned with the built-in camera. Okay. So this is what the screen says. What is going on over here? Make sure you are not sitting too close to your machine. And it's going to follow a grid-like pattern and scan and make sure it's getting all of the design. Well, that should be interesting. We'll see how that works. That's a good test right there. So now it's going to show us our results and you can see when that flipped up that was what the reaction was from the, the printer so at this point I would want to scan I would want to scan again so that I didn't have that come up but since I'm really interested in the strawberry part for today we're gonna to keep going but at least it shows us what can happen and what and what the reaction will be from your computer when you get that Thing. All right, so there's all sorts of different things that you can do, right? So if I want to eliminate down, I can go in and using my arrows, I can pretty much eliminate 
almost everything that I'm interested in eliminating right away. So if I wanted that image to be a little cleaner, I could adjust my grayscale. I am fine with the way that turned out. All right, so you can, let me show you what it looks like to move it up. So if I hit retry here, it doesn't rescan the whole thing. All it does is adjust that image level. And I didn't see a lot of change in what showed up. Some got a little fuzzier and some didn't. So I want to go back to here and scan it again. All right, so once you are happy with that, you can move on. You can return as well. At this point, you can adjust, it's, or it's, actually you can adjust it here, I'm sorry. So the result view, the original view. You can go back and forth. Nothing has changed at this point. It's just how you're viewing it. All right, so once you've adjusted that, you can hit set. Now, you may notice all of that other line, all that other artwork still shows up, but it is grayed out. There is a red box around what I want to work on. And I want us to get down to just that area. All right. So this, you see there's still a little bit of, I'm going to call it noise, but there is a few little extra bits that I do not want it to sew out. But I want to show you what it looks like before I even change anything. All right. So if I did it this way, that's what we would see. No, okay. All right, so I wanna go back and I would like to edit it. And I'm going to go back and let's see if I can get it to move for me. Here we go. So I am going to start where this line is. I've got all of my different options here. What I'm looking for is the eraser. I can adjust my size eraser and make it bigger or smaller. The default is the 20. You can also change it to a square, but then you've got kind of rough edges. All right, so if I use just my 20, you can kind of see how big my circle is. And I wanna get close in here without getting too close. If I make a mistake, I can always hit my undo. Now I'm going on the inside here. Oh, I already hit my edge. And that eliminated that line from in there. I know that I've got a line here. I'm really zoomed in, y'all, so I just want you to see. All right, I'm going to, I want to show an example here. All right, let me zoom back out. Let me hit next. So one thing that you want to do before you finish setting this is you want to go in and you want to double check. At this point, I can adjust all sorts of things, but the first thing I want us to look at is I'm going to hit this linked button and it's going to show me all of the, the different lines that I have, all of the different stops. So it puts a red box around all of the different elements. Right now you can see that on below the strawberry, I've got that one little bit of a line. And so I, I wanna definitely make sure that goes away before because I don't want it to stitch out and I don't wanna to have to remember to stop my machine to be able to do that. 
All right, so now I'm going back out. I am happy with the width since this is supposed to look like red work. I'm happy with the distance of the stitches, but if I wanted to switch it, I could. All right, I do not want my designs linked. But I'm also going to go back and I'm going to back on my eraser. I am going to eliminate those lines. All right. Now I'm ready to set. It's going to ask me if I'm really ready to set. It needs to make sure because once I hit OK on this, I can't go back. I'm going to hit OK. Now I can manipulate this where I want it on, on my hoop. So I'm going to move it to the center. I'm going to rotate it that way. All right. So now I'm almost ready to sew. I've got all of my options here in edit that will allow me to, um, to, to change anything that I want to change now before I set it. But I'm ready to set it. Okay, so at this point I've got to remember to change, change out my board. Put on a regular hoop. Before I started this video, I did a sample test out to see what it would, what it would, what it would look like. But I want to show you a little bit. Go so just stitch in a little bit so you can see how it, how it turns out. So let me move it down just a little bit so I'm not sewing right on top. Okay. So now I'm ready to go. Oh, that's beautiful already. Stop it. I'm going to cut it. All right. As you can see, I've already done one. But this is what you can do with just some line art on your. IQ designer. So I think that it takes a little bit of the intimidation factor out of being able to do some designs. Well, we hope that you will take the time to play around on your machine and try some new projects. And if we can help and support you in any way, we would sure love to do that. Thanks for your time watching our video today. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.